Hi, this is Cassie from IMG. Today, we're going to be talking about the Engagement Studio in Parda. To navigate to the Engagement Studio, you would go to the Automations tab and then navigate to Engagement Studio. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start from scratch in this case, but if you have an existing program, you can always copy one right here. But for this example, I'm going to start from scratch. So I'll hit the Add Engagement Program button here. OK, first things first, we're going to name our program. Again, you have the option to categorize almost every asset within Parda under a folder. So if you want to choose your folder here, you can do so. You can add a description as well. Something that would kind of tell you, you know, the goal or objective of the program is always useful. If you're having multiple, it's nice to have something to refer back to. Here you're selecting your recipient list. So this is everyone who would receive the um, emails within the program. So um, my suggestion is to use dynamic lists for the majority of your engagement programs, but you can also add static lists as well. And you can add more than one. So there's no limit to the amount of recipient lists that you can have in one program. And just on the opposite, you can add suppression lists. So this will keep anyone from entering into your program. If they're in the suppression list, it will automatically repel them from the program. So same thing, you can have multiple here as well. By default, engagement programs are set to run during business hours only. So that's business days of the week and business hours within your time zone. You can um, customize those settings if you'd like to send you know, on weekends or even within more specific days during the week. Can choose your time zone here by default it's on my eastern time zone and here's an important thing to note too by default all prospects will only enter an engagement program once so even if they meet criteria for a list more than once they will not be re-entered into the program unless you check off this box so let's leave that all as the default settings and i'm going to hit save you have to have a unique name let me try that again okay perfect all right, so within building your program, there's a few different ways you can start it, but for the most part, you're going to start with an action. So we're going to start the program by doing something. Typically, that first action will be send an email. So I'm going to search email here, send email. You have the option here to choose your template. Just gonna skip for now. And then you can choose um, your timing. So we can send our email immediately. So that would be as soon as someone hits my either dynamic or static list that I've chosen for my criteria. As soon as they hit that list in my program zoning, they're going to get email one. You can wait to send on a specific amount of days later. So, you know, a one day delay or up to 100 day delay. There's no minimum here or maximum, I should say. And then you can also choose specific send date. So if you had a timely campaign, this might be um, suitable for you. I'm going to start with an immediate email send. All right, so that's my first action. From an action, you can do things like listen for a trigger. So let's say I have an email I sent. I would like to have a specific action go out to people who open my email. So open my email is the trigger. So let's go into trigger and choose just that. We're listening for an email open. As you can see, there's quite a few options here, but this is the one that falls for my particular situation. So email open, you would have to choose the um, appropriate template, assuming this would be the template that you sent in your action. So here we have evaluation. So you can wait up to a maximum of X days. So let's use two for my example. Wait up to a maximum of two days. That means if my prospect opens my email in day one, they're automatically going to move along in the program. If they don't open it until the end of day two, that's fine, they would still move along. So that's more of a timely based method using the wait or using the up to. If I wanna use wait, it's two days no matter what. So they could open the email five minutes after they receive it, they're still going to have to wait two days before they proceed in the program. Let's use up to in this case. I'll hit save. Okay, so you can see we've created our first um, decision tree here. So you can see you have your yes and your no path. 
So my email went out. I'm giving them two days to open it. Now I want to have another something happen to people who opened my email. Let's uh, send them another email. Now you can see if I wait two more days, that's an additional two days on the time period where we're waiting for them to open. So just to kind of put that into perspective for you, we set the email, waiting up to two days for them to open it. Another two days later, we're sending out our second email. Let's check it out. Let's check out rules. So this is an evaluation. So let's use city as my example. My city contains Boston. All right. Again, you have the option to immediately evaluate that prospect or wait. I'm going to evaluate them immediately after receiving the second email. So now I send my email and I'm immediately evaluating if that prospect is from Boston or not. So Pardot's going to tell me yes or no immediately, is that prospect from Boston? If yes, they can continue down the path. So evaluations can be used for many different scenarios. Some people even like to start their programs with an evaluation to see if the, the prospect should even proceed down the line. These can also be used later down in the funnel to really trickle down. So maybe um, it's a Salesforce campaign status. You're about, there's quite a few different examples you can use here, but the main point is that all of the actions that are taken by your prospect can really drive this program for you. So get creative, test, and you'll have a program that really suits your needs. Thank you.